Hi guys! In this video I am going to show you how to create a pivot table and pivot chart. And pivot table help us to summarize the data set and pivot chart is just a visualization of the pivot tables. And pivot tables are very easy to use and there is no formulas need to be written and it's just simply drop and drag and drop. So it's very easy to create a pivot tables. And let's say that your manager come to you and gave you a large data set and asked you to create a dashboard. So in this case, you need to create pivot tables with pivot charts to present in your dashboard, right? So there are several things that you need to make sure about your data before creating your pivot tables. So one of the first thing is uh, you need to get familiarized yourself, yourself with your data set. So in this case, I have a sales report data set and I have a salesman here and uh, we have the name of the product which are sold by each salesman and I have the sales amount and other details as well. So this is a sales report data. The another thing that you need to make sure that your data is tabular format. It means that you have one of headers that describe the data. Each of headers describe the data below. So for example, this is a salesman and this is these are the names of the people, right? So and another thing that you need to make sure about your data is you don't have any blank columns. And also you need to make sure that you don't have any blank rows. And, and finally, you don't have any merged cells. Otherwise, uh, the system will not allow you to create a pivot table. So after checking the data set, so we are ready to create a pivot table. So select one of the cell of your data set. And then go to insert tab in the ribbon. And you'll see that there is a pivot table option. And we are going to select this one. And you you'll you are going to realize that the data is chosen automatically and it is going to create our pivot table on a new Excel worksheet. So we don't make any changes here and then we say OK. So new Excel worksheet will open. So this is our pivot table when we select some fields from here and our table will appear here. And this is pivot table fields and we see the field names. These are all comes from our data set and these are the headers of our data set. And we have some areas here as well. So for example, let's start with salesman. Let's have the salesman in a row. And to do that, we just select the salesman and drag it and drop it to the rows. So, and you are going to see that my salesman in a row. And then I would like to see the sum of sales made by each salesman. And then I go sales and just drag it and drop it to the values. Now I can, I'm able to see how many sales, the, the sales amounts made by each uh, salesman. And we can add a filter as well. For example, if you would like to see the sales based on the region, and we need to go to select region and drag it and drop to the filter section. So you see that there's a region and we can go and make uh, apply the filter to our data set. When we select the Africa, it shows us all the sales made by each salesman to Africa, right? So we can add a columns as well. And for example, we can show the region in a columns. We just drag it and drop it to the columns. As we have chosen only the Africa, it's only showing us Africa and we can make it, we can go and select them all. You see that we have the sales amounts made to each region, right? So this is how we do it. However, in now we are going to have it in the filters and 
the another thing I would like to do here is that I would like to sort my uh, table in, in a descending order and to do that I'm going and selecting the sale one of the cell of sales sum of sales and then making a right click and go to sort and sort largest to smallest so my data is sorted from largest to smallest here now I am going to go and create a pivot chart based on this pivot table and to do that I just go when you select your pivot table and make sure that you are on the pivot table analyze tab on your ribbon and then go to pivot chart and select it and your pivot chart will appear and I would like to change the type of my pivot chart and to do that I select my chart area and then go to design and and then I'm going to change chart type column and I would like to make it a bar so this is a bar so I have a pivot chart here and it's just a visualization of my pivot table so I would like to delete the unnecessary items in my pivot chart for example this one I select it and press a delete button then I go and select this and press a delete button and I would like to make a title for my chart I would like to uh, name it as top salesman so you might realize that my pivot table is in an descending order however my pivot chart is in an ascending order and I would like to change it and to change it I need to select the chart area and then make a right click and select format axis on the right side here in the options axis options we are going to go and select the categories in reverse order and you see that my chart is also aligned with my pivot table both of them are in a descending order they are all sorted in a descending order so and I would like to go and increase the width of my bar and to do that I go and select the one of the bar and when you select one of them and you'll see that all of them are selected and I'm going to go and decrease the gap width so this is my top salesman chart in this chart I can see my top salesman right another thing I would like to do here is that I would like to insert a level to my bars and to do that I go and select uh, the bars and then I go add chart element and then go to data levels and from here I'm going to go and select outside end so now I'm able to see the sales amount uh, next to each bar as well right so that's it guys uh, we have a pivot table and we have a chart based on this pivot table and our chart is ready to place in our dashboard we can just copy and paste it to our dashboard right that's it guys see you in the next video bye bye